published 0939 EDT, the 24th of August 2017 updated 1244 EDT, the 24th of August 2017 Road Rage Killer Tracy Andrews delivered an Oscar-winning performance in Deception at a police press conference just hours after murdering fiancé Lee Harvey in a frenzied attack, a new documentary claims. Andrews, 46, a former part-time model, became one of Britain's most notorious female killers after she stabbed her partner Lee Harvey, 25, 42 times on the side of a road in Alvachurch, Worcestershire, in December 1996, just 36 hours after the killing. Andrews, then 27, appeared alongside Mr. Harvey's parents holding his mother's hand at an emotional press conference and described how she had tried to help her fiancé, who she claimed had had been murdered by a large man with staring eyes after a high-speed car chase on a quiet country road. Body language expert Cliff Lansley, who used to train staff at the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, reveals on the Investigation Discovery series Faking It Tears of a Crime Andrews gave away six separate signs of deception during the conference as she said the following eight words I just tried to stop the bleeding really, she used the word really rather than simply saying I tried to stop the bleeding she slightly shrugged her shoulders she dropped the volume of her voice she swallowed hard she paused she raised the pitch of her voice again vicious attack bar made Tracy Andrews, 46, became one of Britain's most notorious female killers after she stabbed her fiancé Lee Harvey, 25, to death on the side of a quiet country road in Alvachurch, Worcestershire, in December 1996. She claimed he was killed by a motorist. Emotional A new documentary re-examines footage from the police press conference Andrews, Wright, took part in just days after the killing. She held hands with Mr. Harvey's mother, Maureen, sent her with husband Ray, as she described how she witnessed her fiancé's killing during the press conference. Still bruised from the apparent attack, she fought back tears as she tried to convince the police press and the public of the story that she hoped would keep her out of jail. Forensic psychologist Carrie Danes adds if I was going to give an Oscar to the best criminal acting performance, then I think I'd give it to Andrews because she comes on and she is to all the world the epitome of a woman who is battered, broken and in a terrible state. Body language expert Cliff Lansley, who used to train staff at the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, breaks down a short clip from the police press conference in which Andrews describes how she tried to help Mr. Harvey following the alleged attack. He reveals how Andrews gave away six separate signs of deception while saying just eight words I just tried to stop the bleeding really, Mr. Lansley says she's just said a few words, and we've got six indicators around that simple phrase that makes us suspicious about whether that's really happened, she qualifies the statement I tried to stop the bleeding with the word real and why not just say tried to stop the bleeding we also see a slight shoulder shrug from her left shoulder. Single-sided shoulder shrugs are usually beyond consciousness. They're below the level of consciousness. People don't know if they're doing it and that's why it's a reliable indicator of deception. We hear a volume drop, she swallows hard, she pauses and the pitch goes up, so six indicators all within 3-4 seconds which totally contradicts the claims she's making that she's tried to stop the bleeding. I don't think she did. Ms. Danes concludes but what you find is... Throughout the press conference, she seems to grow in confidence, and it's actually that confident performance that is incongruent with what she wants to portray herself as, which is obviously the victim. So the growing level of, ooh, actually, I'm going a really good job of this, er, I'm being plausible, I'm getting away with this is what is her ultimate downfall. Andrews, a barmaid, killed bus driver Mr. Harvey by stabbing him 42 times during a furious row as they drove home from a pub down a quiet, leafy lane. However she later claimed her partner had been the victim of a vicious road rage attack that he had been killed by the passenger of another car which had been tailgating and playing cat and mouse before forcing the couple to come to a stop.
Convincing forensic psychologist Carrie Dane said Andrews delivered an Oscar-worthy performance during the press conference as she presented herself as a victim battered and bruised Andrews, who claimed she had been punched by Mr. Harvey's killer, was unconsciously giving away signs that she was lying through her speech and body language. Andrews, who said she was punched by her partner's killer, lied to the police and to Mr. Harvey's parents, who appeared with her at the televised press conference two days later. Indeed, Indeed, Mr. Harvey's mother Maureen even held Andrew's hand as she tearfully described the fictitious road rage killer, believing she was telling the truth. The press conference clip was also analyzed by forensic psychologist Carrie Danes, who works with some of Britain's most complex and challenging criminals. She says if I was going to give an Oscar to the best criminal acting performance, then I think I'd give it to Andrews because she comes on and she is, to all the world, the epitome of a woman who is battered, broken and in a terrible state, intense. Many remember this photograph of Andrews from the press conference. The image many remember from Tracy Andrews' news conference is one of her with her eyes wide and mouth open as she recreated the look she had seen on the face of the fictitious road rage murderer with staring eyes. Comment Commentators and journalists at the conference would later claim the look was the first indication that Andrews herself was capable of the kind of rage she claimed to have witnessed in the killer. However, body language expert Cliff Lansley explains in the documentary that this is a constructed look and that genuine rage would come across as quite different. In anger, we see brows down and the eyes tighter against the eyeballs, he says, because she is imitating the eyes that she saw. It's emphasizing the speech, and it fits with the story. So it's consistent. Furious argument Andrew stabbed bus driver Mr. Harvey more than 42 times with a penknife. However, during the press conference she starts to let her true self show. Ms. Danes continues she seems to grow in confidence, and it's actually that confident performance that is incongruent with what she wants to portray herself as, which is obviously the victim. She seems to grow in confidence, and it's actually that confident performance that is incongruent with what she wants to portray herself as, which is obviously the victim forensic psychologist Carrie Dane. So the growing level of, oh, actually, I'm going a really good job of this, er, I'm being plausible, I'm getting away with this is what is her ultimate downfall. Journalists attending the conference were struck by the moment when Andrews widened her eyes as she recreated the look on the fictional killer's face. Many commentators would later point to it as an example of Andrews' own rage. However, genuine rage would look quite different to this, Mr. Lansley explains. Some commentators said she looks capable of anger and aggression, but that's a misinterpretation because in anger we don't see the eyes so wide, he said. In anger we see brows down and the eyes tighter against the eyeballs. Because she is imitating the eyes that she saw. It's emphasizing the speech, and it fits with the story. So it's consistent. Jailed Andrews, 46, was convicted of murder at Birmingham Crown Court in July 1997. Victim Tracy Andrews claimed she was injured by the man who killed her fiancé Lee Harvey in December 1996. Lee Harvey, an easygoing and fun-loving bus driver, met Tracy Andrews in a nightclub in 1994. She was a glamorous single mother and her daughter was then aged four who ran a market stall selling perfume and had big dreams of becoming a model, jealous and possessive, Andrews would fly into a rage if she wasn't always at the epicenter of Lee's world, and during their volatile two-year relationship they split up many times. However, police were only made aware of the couple's fiery past once they began their investigation into Mr. Harvey's murder. Mr. Harvey was stabbed more than 37 times in what Andrews claimed was a road rage attack. She concocted a story that he had been murdered by a wild-eyed maniac and made public appeals to trace the culprit. Crime scene police examined the road where Mr. Harvey was viciously murdered mounting evidence a graphic from the time of the case rounds up the evidence Andrews appeared on television clutching the hand of Mr. Harvey's mother Maureen as she made an emotional appeal for help to catch the killer, but her murder trial was told there was compelling forensic evidence which showed she had killed him with a Swiss Army type penknife. Following an argument, neighbors at the couple's home in Alva Church said they frequently heard shouting and the jury was told Andrews had violently attacked Mr. Harvey and other former boyfriends.
She was jailed for life, with a recommendation that she serve a minimum of 14 years before she was considered for parole. Almost two years later she confessed to killing Mr. Harvey in a letter to her solicitor, but insisted she was acting in self-defense. The televised appearance led to witnesses coming forward who reported how they had seen Mr. Harvey's car screech to a stop on the side of the road, but that there had been no other cars at the scene. A resident who lived near to the murder scene also reported hearing the raised voices of a man and a woman on the night of the murder but no other male voices. Months after Mr. Harvey was murdered, his fiancée was found guilty of murder and handed a life sentence. She was released in 2012 after serving 14 years. Faking at Tears of a Crime airs on Friday at 10 p.m. on Investigation Discovery.